Tonight, we have confirmed that the man killed by an alligator this week was warned several times by the Largo Police Department to stay out of the water. Video from a man who manages a disc golf course in the park where the man's body was found also shows the disc park manager warning him to stay out of the water. News Channel East Jeff Patterson joining us now live from John Taylor Park in Largo with the update on this story. Jeff. Good evening, Keith. Just about everyone that I've spoken to here at this park is very well aware. There are a lot of alligators out there in the lake. Some people are angry that earlier this week, licensed trappers euthanized two alligators after removing them from the water. Still, we saw a number of large alligators out there in the lake today, and going out into the water would be dangerous for anyone. He's in the water right now. He'd been warned before. This is video of 47-year-old Sean McGinnis in Lake Taylor before he died in a suspected alligator attack earlier this week. He comes out here to retrieve the discs out the water. Now, he's homeless. Kevin Bradley manages the disc golf course at John Taylor Park and says he'd asked McGinnis to stay out of the water on several occasions. Records from the Largo Police Department show officers have also warned McGinnis to stay out of the water. It's a safety hazard. Everyone we've spoken to at the park knows there are many alligators in the water here. When I was growing up, you didn't see them like that. Marty Key was fishing on the bank of the lake today and saw several large alligators nearby. He says he always keeps an eye out for them. If they go under right there, if they just sink right there, I step back because you never know if they're going to come up right here and charge out of that water. Tuesday, after Largo police found the body of Sean McGinnis in the lake, licensed trappers removed and killed two alligators from the lake. Trappers said at the time, one of the alligators swam toward them, indicating the alligators may have been fed by humans. Marty Key believes that's dangerous. You shouldn't feed them because that's when they stop being scared of humans. You know, they start coming right up to you because they think you're going to feed them, and that's where trouble starts. Several people who know Sean McGinnis say he earned money uh, by going into the water, getting those discs out and selling them back to disc golfers or to a local business. The discs range from about $10 all the way up to $50, but as you heard Kevin Bradley there say, it's not worth anyone's life going into that water to retrieve a disc. Live in Largo, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.